All right, guys, super, super excited to show you this guy here. This is the Casio G-Shock Square, the GMWB 5000 TVA, the Titanium Virtual Armor. So before we get into the watch, and I've already videoed a ton of these watches, whether it be the titanium or the steel or the resin or whatever like that. So we're not going to get into crazy, crazy detail, but I want to show you all the little weird, I don't even know if you can call them Easter eggs at this point because they're like everywhere. So, but if we look at the case real quick, you can see here kind of has that same motif that's on the watch, um, a little bit of information there. And they even went overboard just like they did on the watch. It has its List of features, shock resist, 20 bar or 200 meter, tough solar, multi-band, smartphone link, so it is Bluetooth capable, um, fine resin cushion, okie dokie. Like they're just pointing out the obvious and they do the same thing on the watch. Diamond-like carbon coating base titanium. So the watch is actually base titanium. Oh, in case you missed that on the tag, the retail price, $16.50. So really you're saving 50 bucks because the last titanium ones were like $17, $1,700. So saving yourself and you're getting a bunch more writing, but you're getting less material because they drilled out these and they're missing that. Anyway, let's look at the watch. So in case you don't know, these are like 43 millimeter, uh, about 49 and a half lug to lug, 13.4 uh, thick and unsized. So full linked up is weighing at 107 gram. These are this one is completely DLC, diamond-like coated, so it's going to be super, super uh, wear-resistant. Uh, Multi-band 6, tough solar, Bluetooth, it's using the module 3459. Uh, of course, base titanium, like it says on the box, and it is 200-meter um, water-resist, made in Japan. That pretty much covers it. I don't know what else you guys want to talk about. Oh, let's look at the watch. Forget about talking. Let's just look at the darn thing. So... You can see one of the big changes on the dial there. Obviously, we have a positive display. I think a lot of people will rejoice on that. But gone are the, the brick pattern around the outside. And instead, they just left the reveal of the solar grid, which I think is equally as cool. Um, a lot of the writing is different on this one than the prior ones. Shock resistant structure protects the case and bezel from induced shocks. And that is also visible here in the fine resin cushion with that relief on the case showing the red. And then you have deep drilled holes there in the case. You have the red B here with the red dot and ring showing the light button. The DLC labeling on the side of the case. Down here, once you get to the bracelet, you have the S-1474DV. I believe that is the model number for the bracelet, I think. And then of course you have the numbers going down the bracelet here. One, two, three, well, you see a pattern there. That's the first three links. And then after that, these links are all the same, so they don't need to number them anymore. And they have the joint pin removal, meaning it's pin and collar. And you can see those holes go all the way through. And like Jason from Design told me that the inside of those holes are actually polished, finished. So that is pretty interesting too. Adds to the lightweight nature, but just kind of cool too. It looks a little, a little more airy on the clasp. Module number 3459, multiband 6. A built-in miniature antenna conducts high-sensitivity reception of standard time radio waves, carrying time information, and corrects the time automatically. Okie dokie. So that is the definition of multiband 6 for micro-adjust. I know, right? It's it's like everywhere you look. It's a bit over the top. Look at the, look at the case back there. That's pretty standard, all that information. Made in Japan, a bunch of FCC information, multi-band six, the model number, all of that good stuff. And there again, right there, that's where they usually write the model number for the bracelet, right there. See on that first link, the S1474DV. That's also replicated on this side. Um, I don't know. I think we're seeing everything. Am I missing anything? Did I miss anything, guys? I think we found everything that's on here. I don't know that there's any other like Easter eggs per se. So if you roll through the functions real quick, you can go through the modes. Of course, that was your time, that's your world time, that's your alarms, that's your stopwatch, that's your tra countdown timer. And then back to that. Um, if you hit and hold the adjust, you can cycle through this and just manually adjust it. You don't need to link it to your Bluetooth, but I do recommend at least trying it once because it is kind of cool. And then you can force receive. This is how you do your start stop and all that stuff. And then of course you have your illumination button here.
pretty standard affair. If we zoom back out, we can take a look at this next to the Full Metal Blink Master. This is the only, it's not the only G-Shock I have, but this is like one of the only squares I have. I think I have my combi square as well, but, uh, you know, weight difference, quite a bit different. You know, when you go to the titanium, they're much lighter. Also, I have to say a big thanks to my buddy Jerry, who owns a 3D print business, who prints all those like crazy, oh, let me grab one. Because in case you haven't seen one of these, my buddy Jerry makes these. And I'll put a link to his Etsy store in the description. These glow in the dark, so when I shut off the light, you'll be able to see that as well. So he makes a bunch of different kind and some other watch goodies. Actually, he made this finger pointer for me too, which is pretty awesome. So anyway, uh, back to the watch. Here's what it looks like on my wrist, not sized, flopping around. Crazy comfortable, super wearable, easily legible, and just fun. Will it catch attention i don't know there's definitely more pop there i think there's definitely more visual interest other will other people notice i don't know i don't really care will i find it you know more joy from wearing this one than say a, a plain one yeah absolutely because it's like i said it holds that next level of visual interest but not gaudy it's not like a gold bling master, which could potentially be gaudy, or it's not like the crazy bold colors that some G-Shocks have. It's understated, but it's definitely not like the Stealth Wealth one where it has absolutely plain nothing on it that you would easily confuse for just a standard $40, $5,600E. This one is obviously something different. It's something more. Let's kill the lights and check the illumination on this guy. Plus, you'll be able to see this monster loom up. Now, I didn't charge that, so it's just... I mean, that's just from the light, from the studio lights for a short amount of time. Those These loom monsters are awesome. Okay, so if we hit the little button here, you can set it so when you turn your wrist that it will automatically come on too. But if you hit the button, it fades on and then it fades off. You know, somebody said something about a, I don't see it. Somebody said something about an orange light that comes on after. I don't know where that's at. Hmm, I have not seen that. I forgot to look for that. I thought somebody said something about an orange light that comes on, but I have not seen that. I don't know where that's at. So I may have missed that. If you guys know something about that, or if you know what I'm talking maybe I'm losing my mind. I don't know. That's quite possible. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Big thanks to Jerry for letting me check this out. I didn't size it, and I did peel everything off, but I'll tell you what I'll do for you, Jerry. I will... Um, Put it back to factory fresh. There we go. It is brand new again. We can even stuff that guy in there. There you go. It's brand new. All right, guys. I'll see you on the next vid.